Hey, welcome to my curls and welcome to my home. I have seen everybody on YouTube doing house tours. We are all stuck at home and apparently we have nothing else to do, me included, and I wanna join in on the fun. So I'm gonna give you a tour of my house. Now y'all, it's Saturday morning. It is late March. I did not clean up my house. I didn't do anything to my house. This is what my house normally would look like on a Saturday morning. Randy and Brecken are milling around. They're doing their thing and I'm just doing my thing. I did, however, fix my hair for this video. <laughs> but otherwise, this is what my house looks like on a Saturday morning. So I'm gonna walk around, show you in my house and we're gonna go out back, which something super exciting is happening outside today. It is one of my favorite days of the year, and when I take you out back, I'll explain why. But I thought I would just give you a house tour. I get lots of questions from women about, you know, where did I find a picture, or what color is the paint on my walls? And so if you all have questions, just leave them in the comments below, and I'll answer you if I can. So yeah, let's do a house tour. Welcome to my home. So this is my bedroom, y'all. You've seen it many, many times in lots of videos, but this is what it looks like. I make my bed first thing every morning. As soon as Randy and I are out of bed, this bed gets made. And Maxie's little bed, his calming bed, is always right here. His bed gets made and I fold his blanket and that is, that's what our bed looks like. And then Pollux's bed stays over here in the corner but at night, Pollux doesn't like to sleep in the corner, so I drag his bed right here. He likes to sleep at the foot of our bed, and that's where he stays all night. But this is kind of our bedroom. We have black furniture. We've had this furniture for, gosh, probably 20 years, y'all. Black furniture is not a fantastic idea. It gets dusty. You can see dog hair. And then here's my little jewelry box. So, oh, and I bet you're wondering what the heck this is. We got a new mattress to our bed last year. We got a Simmons Beautyrest black label mattress. And if y'all, if any of y'all are in the uh, market for a mattress, this mattress rocks. I absolutely love it. And we have the adjustable bed frame so you can raise up the head, you can raise up the foot. I did not want to get the adjustable bread bed frame. I thought it was silly. I never thought I would use it. Honestly thought that was for older people, but Randy wanted to get it. And they were running a promotion that you got like a certain amount off of the adjustable bed frame. So we went for it and we even got a, a more upgraded frame than what they were offering. Y'all, I love it. Don't use it all the time, but like if Randy isn't here and I get in bed, I will absolutely raise up that bed with my remote control and I can work on my laptop, I can watch TV, and then there is a button on here that says flat and it just instantly puts it back down and I go to sleep. Yeah, this bed is awesome. So this is Randy's little corner. He, he's the one that uses his chair. He always has home clothes on the back of the chair, his boots, his tennis shoes. This is kind of his thing. But here is our bedroom and Randy has the nightstand. He sleeps on this side of the bed because he keeps his Apple Watch plugged in. And this is his little box that I got him a really long time ago with his initials on it. And he likes to work the TV. So. This is his side of the bed. Let's go into the closet. Y'all didn't pick up anything. This is what my closet looks like. This is my side. Let me back up. My side, Randy's, Randy's side. Look, look at this. He is super, super organized. I don't touch anything in his side of the closet. He's got everything organized. T-shirts, play t-shirts, work shirts, dress shirts, UK shirts. Like this is how he rolls, guys. And this is me down here. I'm just randomness, work shirts, jeans. Then you flip over here and stuff. But look, oh, <laughs> so I washed. Uh, we all have silk pillowcases and I washed them yesterday so they were hung up to dry. And then of course, y'all, here's all my t-shirts. 
Got all my shirts in here. Y'all recognize these, right? So here's all my shirts. And then, oh, we have a linen closet. Linen closet, nothing fancy. We have three baskets and this just helps Randy be organized because he does the laundry. So it's regular laundry, towels, and then these are delicates. I put stuff in there and Brecken does and I do the delicates, but this is just how we kind of keep things organized. And then this is my light where I like to do my own nails, my shellac. So yeah, well, let me show y'all this. Brecken, I don't know if you can see it. Brecken made this picture for Randy. Look at that. She was probably eight years old and she made that and it's still in our bedroom. Heading into our bathroom and y'all been in here so, so many times, but here is the bathroom. This is Randy's side. This is my side and then kind of community area. And then the hot tub, just for looks. I probably have not been in that thing in 10 years. Toilet area, and let me show you this. This is where I keep all of my shellac colors. Look at that. I love doing my nails, so we have all those hidden in there. And then here's our shower. This is my t-shirt that I wrap my hair up in when I get out of the shower, it always hangs right there. But y'all need to watch my video to be coming out soon about how I have, the, what I've discovered to keep the shower door so clean. Y'all are gonna get a laugh out of that video, but that's it. So let's head out of here. So this is heading into our foyer area. Well, there's Pollux, that's his favorite spot. He loves to be under the dining room table. Don't you, buddy? Here's the dining room. Let me get you up close. <laughs> Just here it is. If you come around here, this is Pollux's bed. Because he loves the dining room so much, and when he's in this corner, <laughs> he has full view of the house. And so we bought him a bed at um, Home Goods. And this is where you will find him most of the day is laying in his little bed right there and you can see he brings his toys into his bed that's what he loves to do but this is our dining room here's these two guys Pollux in his chair Maxie on his couch this is the dog's room somebody is sleepy look at those notions something right now it's because they can see the entire front yard. Every car, every bird, every squirrel, and every person that goes walking by. So they lay here and they are entertained all day long. Here's the um, little video camera that I told you all about where we can see the dogs. And then Randy just put this here. We recently disconnected DirecTV. I had had it with DirecTV. We signed up for YouTube TV, and this is all the DirecTV equipment that we are getting ready to send back. This is sort of in the corner of our dining room, and it serves no purpose whatsoever other than, let me show you these. Can you see these? They're dusty. But when Randy and I first got married, every time we would go on a trip somewhere, we started collecting glass stir sticks. And not kidding, we would get one everywhere we went. So we have a cactus, sandals, more cactus. We have a sugar skull, roosters and onions. We have strawberry, like there are, there are so many of these now that we cannot even, here's our rooster from, you ever been to Key West? There are roosters all over the Keys, and so we get a rooster. But anyway, we just stopped buying them because we can't remember where all of them are from. We have so many now, so they just kind of hang out 
right here in our dining room. See, told you, this is what Pollux is up to um, most of the days. But here is our dining room. So heading down the hall, we have just a little guest bathroom. This is the kitchen. Randy just got back from Chick-fil-A, so that's his drink. You can hear him outside. He is doing the leaf blower. But that's a good spin of our kitchen. This is the doggy area. This is where I keep all of Maxie and Pollux's dog treats in this cute little jar. And this my MacBook always kind of tends to hang out right there. And this is where we eat. This is where I have my coffee. I do my morning things. We eat breakfast right here. Randy's got his glasses. And of course, this is how you know Brecken has always been in here eating. She always leaves her glass. Here's my fridge. Let me give you a peek inside. Real life, that's my fridge, no joke. We drink oat milk in our house. We don't drink regular milk. If y'all have never had oat milk, you should try this. It is so good. It is thick. It's not like almond milk. To me, almond milk is really thin and runny. Kind of freaks me out a little bit. But oat milk is thick and very much like regular milk. We do have a small thing of milk for when we make mashed potatoes. But this is the fridge. Creamers, oat milk, leftovers, fruit, brick and made. This is what went on last night. And then leftover Chinese. So this is my kitchen, guys. You know I love to cook. If you have been on my channel for any length of time, you know that I love to cook. I'm starting a new cooking series on my existing Welcome to My Curls channel, and I'm calling it Stay Home and Cook With Me. I've recorded three cooking videos so far. Every one that I'm recording, I'm getting better. I'm figuring out the angles, like how I, what the light should be, how to do things. So just sort of bear with me as I get my cooking videos sorted out so that they look and feel the way that I want them to. I have some fantastic recipes and things that I wanna share with you on my cooking series. So please check it out. Stay home and cook with me. So far, I think I posted a video for Bananas Foster. We have a Pasta Renee style. We have chocolate chip cake. And I have several uh, videos on side dishes coming up and some more desserts and another chicken dish. Speaking of cooking, this was where the chocolate chip cake once lived that I filmed a video about just two days ago. Completely gone, but nobody has bothered to um, clean out the pretty plate, the cake plate. But this is my kitchen. We have lived in this house almost 20 years and about 12 years ago, I guess, we completely gutted this kitchen down to the studs. We the floors, we tore down the walls, we got rid of everything in this kitchen and we built a new kitchen. So this is what it looks like now and I absolutely love this kitchen. I use every single inch of this room because I love to cook. Kitchen! You've seen it in videos. Normally I'm in here talking, but this is what it looks like up close. This is the kitchen. I absolutely love my cabinets. They are called eggshell and they have a, I think it's called cocoa trim in them. Let me get up close so you can see. This is my cabinets. And when we were redoing the kitchen, gosh y'all, this was a really, really big decision. Everybody I know has dark cabinets. Randy and I really loved the light cabinets and I'm so glad that we went with that. It just feels light and airy and open and this is really not a huge room, but I love the cabinetry. One thing I love about my kitchen is two sinks. We have a sink here on this side 
And then we have a vegetable sink on this side. And then this, we used to have a table here. So this huge island really is, this is where we eat our meals. So we put the hangover right here so you could pull up. So you have four bar stools. You have four bar stools and this is where we sit and eat every single meal. And then I have whoop, a cabinet underneath there. So this entire thing is storage underneath here. And then on this side, I've got it's our silverware. Oh gosh, this, who knows what this is gonna look like. Ha, huh? Tupperware. And then this is paper plates and stuff to go out by the pool. And then in here is all of my cutting boards. And you can tell as we walk around the house, I am a tassel person. I love tassels. I hang them on all my doorknobs. See, here's one here. This is sort of like just a, I don't know, pantry for whatnot. Paper supplies, dog food, recyclables. This is where the dogs eat. Look at their cute little bowl right here. And then I have another tassel right here. Love, love, love tassels. I think it just brings something to a room. It just adds a little something. And you can find tassels anywhere, y'all, but I just love to, to add them. Is it raining? Oh, no. <laughs> Rainy is outside working on the pool. We're going to go outside. So this is the living room. You can see Maxie sleeping. Hey, Maxier. Maxie's sleeping on the couch. This is his couch. This is where he hangs out most of the time, right there. And here is the living room, guys. Let me show you. Living room, and there's an argument which book is going to be on top. Brecken is a senior. She just got her book, and she was so excited to be able to come in here and put her book on top of Kendall's book. It was the, it was a really big moment in Brecken's life, but these books stay in our living room right there. It's all their senior pictures. Look at this. Look at Pollux's toys. This is his corner. Here's Henrietta. If I put Henrietta up, <laughs> He comes back in here and gets her. So he plays with Henrietta and the seahorse every morning, and that's where he leaves them. But this is our living room. And then you step up and you're back into the kitchen. You got the big bay windows looking outside, and then you have huge walkout windows right there. So we did something for our dogs years ago, and I gotta say it is some of the best money we have ever spent. We put a doggy door into the screen door behind here. So watch this. I can open the door. I can close the screen door. But look, there's a doggy door. We have always had schnauzers, so this little doggy door was just fine for them. Now that we have Pollux, we have got to get a bigger door. We're gonna have to go up, I think, two sizes in the door size, and Randy's working on that right now, so. What do you think about it, guys? Y'all like the door? You can just go in and out anytime you want to, huh, Pollux? Daddy getting you a bigger door? Yeah, so let's go outside. So I told y'all this is one of my favorite days of the year. I absolutely love this day because we 
are open in the pool today. Well, actually, actually we did it last night. We took the cover off last night, but it was getting dark. So we turned on the pumps. We took off the cover. I was able to get out all of the cushions. It just, I love this day when I can bring the outside to life and then Randy's vacuuming the pool. He is my pool boy. I don't take care of the pool. I don't know how to vacuum the pool. I don't wanna know how to vacuum the pool. A couple times that I've had to do it, he's told me how to do it. I always forget the minute he tells me and I just, I, I enjoy the pool, I get in the pool and I let him be the pool boy. But I love getting out the lounge chairs and all of the cushions. Pollux has been out here yesterday laying in the sunshine. He loves the lounge chairs too. And see, oh boy, look what's happening. So, when one dog in the neighborhood barks, mine gotta run outside. They don't know what's going on. There's a dog somewhere off in the distance barking, and my two have gotta go bonkers. They don't even know why, they just bark. All right, Maxer, you don't know why. Pollux has not, I don't, of course, he's never seen a pool. Pollux, have you ever seen a swimming pool? No. Pollux has never seen a swimming pool, so he hasn't gotten too close to it yet. Right there, that's about the, as close as he's gotten. But we all think that when the pool's open and we're in it, he will probably jump in the water. That's what we're betting. But here are my lounge chairs. I love them. This is where you will find me pretty much on any given sunny day, right there. Let me show you into our backyard. So those black posts are a fence. We are getting a fence for Pollux. This has been a really big deal. So we have quite a good amount of property, but he cannot get out and run. So we are putting in a fence. They put the post in two days ago, the poster setting, and they're gonna be here on Monday to put up the fence. So Pollux will have the entire run of the yard. And y'all gotta get out here. I was gonna power wash yesterday and the power washer wouldn't start. So you can tell my table is green. Look at that. All the, the green that grows on it during the winter. So I just power wash it off. But I, get, I, get, I gotta get out here and do that when we get the power washer fixed. We eat out here, we hang out out here. This is where you will find dust pretty much every single evening. Ooh, in my my pots, see my pots. I gotta get my flowers planted. But because we live in Kentucky, it's really not smart to plant anything before Mother's Day. So I gotta wait another month before I can plant anything. Here is our wall of grills. This is Randy's wall. We have a smoker, an electric smoker, a charcoal grill, no, no, a gas grill, and then a charcoal grill. We have four different versions of cooking appliances out here. Do y'all agree? This is a little obsessive. Excessive. It's a little excessive. He is obsessed with cooking, grilling, smoking, anything meat. Loves it. Pollux is loving running around the pool. He's trying to figure out what the heck the pool is. He's still not too sure about it, which at this point is okay with me. Because if he falls in, it's really cold. Right, buddy? But he's just loving being outside and laying in the lounge chairs. and He's enjoying himself. He got a bath yesterday. It was the first bath that we have given him since he's lived here. It was a really big deal. It took Brecken and I to get him in the bathtub. I thought he was going to be horrible. I thought he was going to fight us but he was really good. He sat there, he did not seem to mind at all. Come here, Pollux. Right, buddy? Come here. He did not mind the bath at all. And he is so soft and fluffy now. He's such a sweet boy. This is our outback. This is where um, you find us most of the time. So let me take you upstairs.
Let's go in. I'll open the door for you. Come on. Come on, Pogs. Come on, Boo. Let's take him upstairs. I can only show you a couple things upstairs. Brecken and Kendall have their bedrooms up there, their bathrooms, I promise that I would not show their private space. But my office is also upstairs. So I'm gonna take you up there. This is the one room that is sort of messy. There's just so much stuff to do. It is full of t-shirts, it is full of mail. I do all of our bookkeeping and accounting for three businesses. So stuff just accumulates and then I get to it when I get to it. But let's go upstairs. This is kind of it, guys. <laughs> this is my mess. Yeah. So this is just kind of my seating area. And what's so cool is this lifts up. So I can keep a lot of my video recording equipment, which is sitting right here at this point, in the storage area. Gosh, this is where I keep all of the t-shirts that you all order. Plus, I have shirts for our ice cream shop that I just picked up that I have to get to all our employees. This is kind of where I keep everything. I package and handle and weigh all this stuff. And then filing cabinets and printers. And then here's my desk. This is where the work happens. I do a lot of editing here. I hook up my MacBook to my monitor, and this is where I do the majority of the editing. Brecken's room is right next to this room, so she loves to shut her door. She gets sick of hearing me edit, but this is where I do all the bookkeeping. I do payroll for the ice cream shop. This is where it all happens. I spend a lot of time in this chair, so I have a super comfy, kind of like a silvery chair that matches my hair. And this is one of my favorite rooms. I spent a lot of time in my office. But that's my house tour, guys. I hope you all enjoyed seeing my house. And it's, this is what we do. This is a normal Saturday at home. Brecken's running around. I think she's apparently gonna go somewhere. I hear her in the shower. Randy's working on the pool. Um, if it wasn't, it's supposed to rain in about an hour. If it wasn't such a yucky day, I would be outside with him. I love to be in the yard barefoot. I love to just be muddy and sweaty. The other day, I got out in the yard. I picked up sticks. I trimmed the plants. Everything's good to go, but it's supposed to start raining just any minute now. So, he, Randy's just trying to get the pool done. And then I'm not sure what we're going to do because we can't go anywhere in Kentucky all businesses are closed. Everybody is supposed to stay home. So that's what we're doing, staying home. And that's why I'm filming this video for you. So you can see my house. I thought that was fun. Thanks for joining me on Welcome to My Curls and I hope you enjoyed seeing my home. If you have any questions at all, please leave them in the comments and I'll answer you if I can. I'll see you later.